So guys, I am Joy and you are watching my YouTube channel Universal Joy. Basically in this video, we will be musing over another logical fallacy named appeal to force. So we will be coming across it but before moving into the video, if you are new to this channel, if you are completely stranger to this channel, if you are unaware of this channel, then be aware of our channel by getting yourself subscribed to our channel and hit that bell icon below as well so that you don't miss a single video of our channel and do not feel any kind of hesitation. When it comes to the matter of uh, you know giving likes, shares, and comments to our channel. Now, without much further ado, let's just get the ball rolling. In this video, we'll be moving over a concept uh, definitely that is pertinent to logical fallacy, and that logical fallacy's name is appeal to pity. Appeal, a bigger part, appeal to force. Appeal to force. Okay. So basically, appeal to force is also known as argumentum ad baculum. Okay, argumentum ad baculum seems to be a very you know difficult kind of word to enunciate. So if you feel uncomfortable with the enunciation of argumentum ad baculum, then uh, you may skip it and uh, be gratified with the uses of this word called appeal to force because both of these terminologies mean the very same logical fallacy. So if you are uncomfortable with uh, pronouncing ad baculum or argumentum ad baculum, then I I would recommend you to use appeal to force because both of these terminologies come to the very same meeting point indicate the very same logical fallacy okay now coming back to the point appeal to fallacy appeal to force is almost contrary to the logical fallacy named appeal to pity so if you have seen appeal to pity then you can actually relate this appeal to force in your practical life because appeal to force is totally uh, you know gonna be located on the uh, opposite end of appeal to uh, pity so i'm going to delineate what appeal to force is all about so appeal to force is usually seen when coercion is used when verbal abuse is used when verbal force is used when threat is used in place of single or mere simple logical reason i'm again going to reiterate so that again you can understand the theory very well okay appeal to force is usually seen or is you or uh, usually occurs in that particular situation when force is used or verbal uh, misuse of the power is uh, used or when verbal abuse is used or when coercion is used in a uh, state of uh, a proper logic or proper reason so i'm going to give you a good in example of appeal to force so that actually you can reason it with uh, okay, resonate it with your practical life okay let's just say um, uh, we have got a conversation between our head teacher uh, who is definitely a leader of his uh, elementary school uh, similarly this head teacher is having a conversation with uh, one of the assistant teacher definitely you are very much aware of the fact that uh, in a uh, in an elementary school there remains uh, many of the assistant teachers so uh, let's just say head teacher is having a conversation with assistant teacher number one okay now the head teacher is definitely superior in terms of the hierarchy because he's got more power so he's almost like a head honcho of his own school now head teacher is now challenged by whom by this assistant head teacher a uh, bigger pardon this assistant teacher okay this assistant teacher kind of like raises his voice up against this head teacher and why does this assistant teacher raise his voice up because he says that he's given more work to do compared to the other assistant teachers okay this is a very uh, simple question asked by this uh, assistant teacher to the head teacher now this is uh, this question or can this question can be tackled by this head teacher with reason with uh, logic but as opposed to you know tackling this question with reason with logic this head teacher becomes very infuriated this head teacher shows his peevish characteristic and he rather says that do you know who you are talking to that means he uses his power you know uh, very improperly he misuses his power head teacher in reply to the question uh, posed by uh, assistant teacher number one head teacher says that do you know who you are talking to i remind you of your position and i remind you uh, i remind you of my position i am definitely superior to you so don't talk to me like that way i can actually recruit another assistant head teacher in your post i can fire you within the snap of my finger like this way okay this way this way he's actually uh, you know threatening assistant teacher this way he is actually sort of like threatening assistant head teacher 
okay so she could have tackled this question with the shelter of a proper logic with the shelter of proper reasoning answer but as opposed to doing that he uses his uh, verbal uh, you know uh, attack he uses his verbal threat and this is called appeal to force that means you have already gotten that appeal to force arises only at that particular point in time when a person misuses his power abuses another guy uh, verbally or threatens him or uses coercion instead of using proper logic instead of tackling the questions uh, very uh, civilized manner okay so i won't recommend you to use it because the, the, this fallacy or this appeal to force leads uh, any man to uh, conflict it may lead you to have quarrel it may lead you to have conflict it may lead you to have expostulation with anyone it may lead you to even fight okay so uh, definitely uh, appeal to force is not recommended by me uh, stay away from it abstain uh, from the uses of appeal to force uh, because this will uh, almost like you know uh, instigate the person who are in power to misuse the power so definitely that's not good for the society that's not good for even the uh, civilized people so uh, definitely this is not recommended and uh, you know somehow by some means if you actually confront this appeal to force uh, 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 being applied at you if if at any given circumstance uh, if you face appeal to force being thrown at you then try to tackle that situation smartly with logic with uh, the uses of your logical reasoning because uh, you don't want to be falling uh, into the trap of uh, actually very uh, improper verbal abuse